I am Narayanan Rangaswamy, a faculty member in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering here at the University of Arizona. I also work at the NSF Center for Quantum Networks here on campus, which is a large, decade-long, multi-institutional effort to lay the foundations of the quantum internet. We also have the Arizona Quantum Initiative, which is the group on campus that brings together all the quantum experts, and we have a lot of them across the departments and colleges. I primarily work on quantum error correction and fault tolerance. So I work on mathematical ways to spread the information and store them in multiple correlated qubits so that you can use these correlations to detect and fix errors. So even though my research is theoretical, it is rooted in a very practically motivated problem. My passion is really to find answers to questions that I care about. What keeps me going these days is trying to understand how to build a fault tolerant quantum computer or a quantum network or a sensor. The other passionate thing for me is to try to find illuminating examples. I feel that is very important as a researcher to find good examples that are non-trivial but still kind of show you the light at the end of the tunnel that okay this is how things work and this is like a small toy case and then once you understand that very well then you can build it up into a nice mathematical theory that can be applied in more general. So that's what I tell students. So two things that I find important are always have the big picture in your mind, even when you're reading papers, even when you're reading technical things. And the other thing is find good examples, find good non-trivial examples that shed light on the problem that you have at hand. And once you understand the examples, you can then generalize that into a nice mathematical theory and then it works very well in different settings. But I'm equally passionate about teaching. I find it very rewarding to go into the classroom and share knowledge with my students. And I also seek feedback constantly from them on how I can improve. I also make a specific effort in trying to understand the background of my students so that I can package the information in a way that connects to them. I really think of you know, research and teaching as kind of my two eyes, so nothing, neither one is less important than the other. I think what is really important to be successful in general in life and more specifically as a researcher is to have the perseverance and the desire to find answers to problems you have in hand.